ตะกรุดลอโบราณมหาโพคทรัพย์หลวงพ่อรักอนาลโยวัดสุทวาดวิปัสสนา in จังหวัดอยุธยา This t a k r o d is classically and typically made by l u m p o r a k in his usual fashion of preserving the ancient methods and maintaining them, conserving them by continuing to produce sacred Buddha n u t s a t i Buddhist amulets, using the ancient methods of casting and creation. This t a k r o d is a cast. Alchemical metal shell with two hoops, with the image of Lumparak embossed on the outer surface, and sacred yant, with a t a k r u t o r n leaden yantra foil scroll inscribed with sacred yantra and kom akara, rolled up inside the cast metal shell. There are three major. Powerful Buddhist yantra involved with the making of this t a k r u t and its empowerment, apart from many other yantra and kata akom, which are inserted within. But three of these yantra are a very important part of the formula of empowerment for maha p o k a s a p wealthy fortunes, blessings within the t a k r u t The t a k r u t amulet itself. When we look back into its origins and history, can be seen to have originated as a k o n g a p a n c h a t r i c l e o c l a d protection and invincibility type of amulet, and was worn by ancient warriors of old. Indeed, it can be seen on the sacred b u s h a statue of s o m d e p r a t n a r e s o a n d Maharat, the first king of Siam, in the n a r e s o a n University. Where s o m d e n a r e s o a n Maharad is seen sitting on his throne, wearing a chain of sixteen t a k r u t s o l o t m o n g k o n hanging around his chest. However, in the present day, much less people have to go into war and need protective amulets, and the t a k r u t has developed to become also a popular form of amulet to embed with Meta Mahaniyom Mahalab. m a h a p o k a s a p and m a h a s a n e power, and so it is quite common these days to see t a k r u t like this, which are empowered with m a h a p o k a s a p meta m a h a n i o m instead of with the k o n g a p a n c h a t r i magic, which was used with most t a k r u t in olden days times. t a k r u t amulets can be made from many different materials. Mostly yantra foils made from lead, copper, gold, silver, or other alchemical metallic combinations and compositions, but can also be inscribed on animal skins and parchment and various other surfaces. Although the takrut is essentially and primarily empowered for maha p o k a s a p it is of course also imbued with meta m a h a n i o m and s e r m d u o n g Karma improvement, blessings, and as is the case with almost all, if not all, of l u m p o r a k s amulets, also with c l e o c l a d evasion of dangers, power to protect you on your journeys. The three major yantra involved within the w i c h a of this t a k r u t are one on the leaden yantra foil scroll. Within the t a k r u t l o b o r a n and two more embossed on the outer surface of the brazen metal t a k r u t l o b o r a n outer shell casing. The yant within the leaden t a k r u t inside is the yant na p o k a s a p for wealthy, prosperous fortunes. On the left side, to our left of Lumporak, on the outer surface of the t a k r u t is. The Yan Ha Yod or Yan Put Son Five d y a n i Buddha's Yantra, and on the right-hand side is the Yan Na Samrit or the Yan Ong Pra Buddha Yantra for success and completion. And the Five d y a n i Buddha's Yantra brings prosperity, good karma, and c l e o c l a d protection.
and here we can see the three sacred yant used in this takrud yant na pokasab for wealthy prosperous fortune and following the ong pra buddha image forming the yant na samrit for success in your endeavors and then finally the five dhyani buddha yantra yan ha yod or as i like to call it yan put son yan put son is the central yantra whereas this particular yant from lumpur lak has five peaks above it with unalom making it ha yod 